Welcome to the NCRS Insider, bringing you into the NCRS world with your host, Steve Thaser. Hello, everyone. We are back to our road to a regional. If you missed part one, it is episode number 18. Check it out. In that episode, we discuss what we did to get the 1980 Corvette ready for our regional NCRS event after having it judged at a chapter meet. Our goal was to get a better score at the regional, even though we anticipated the judging may be a little bit more difficult. And judging can be very subjective, even with the general guidelines. So today, we will discuss how the judging went at the Marlboro Regional and do a side-by-side -side comparison of the results to our chapter event. Let's see how it went. On Thursday morning on May 31st, we headed out early for a four-hour trek to Marlboro, Massachusetts. We arrived around noontime to a bit of a drizzle in the air, so operations judging was a little delayed. Around 2 o'clock, it was a bit better, so things slowly got underway. Since the judges kept me busy during operations, I did not get any photos of what transpired, but we did okay. As usual, there were some new things that we did not anticipate. The shift interlock was not working, so we were able to turn over the engine with the car in drive. Not sure what is up with that. The judges looked closely at the engine idle. We let the engine run for quite some time, but it was hovering around 1,000 RPM, but it should have been closer to 7 or 800. It was a six-point deduction, so that was a bit unexpected, probably a correct deduction. Although our problem window operation was a bit slow, we did not receive any deductions, which was great. We did, however, receive a slightly higher deduction on the AC and alarm not working. A comment from the judges that I was surprised over was the radio. They were surprised that the original radio and cassette worked just as it left the factory. I guess these usually have problems over time. So to compare the results of our chapter and regional events, we actually did worse. We went from a 12-point deduction to a 27-point deduction. However, we did get the full 10 bonus points because of our NCRS sticker. Not off to the start we had hoped for, but we were optimistic other areas would improve. After operations, I got the car into the convention center and did a little prep work to get it ready for the next day of judging. The rain gave us a lot of water spots. Our Corvette was up for judging on Friday. After returning from the typical owner's meeting, I found a number of judges surrounding the 80. Come to find out, I was the only car being judged in the 78 to 80 class, so for many of the judges, this was the only car for the day. Vito Simaluca, who was the team leader, held his own judging meeting with the team to discuss how the day would unfold. Up first were the chassis and interior teams. The interior team was the first to wrap up. They reviewed their findings with me and noted a number of small condition points. Nothing major, but I would say they were a little harder in the judging as compared to the chapter meet, which is to be expected. One interesting thing was the battery deduction. They noted a seven point deduction versus the previous 10 points. Looking at the judging manual, it should be a 30% deduction for a reproduction differing from the original design and construction in minor detail. So the deduction should actually be nine points. Thankfully, I could use the two extra points. That carpet issue on the driver's side was not noted as previously but a carpet issue on the passenger side was, so we are still even on that one. So overall on interiors, we had a 30 point deduction as compared to the previous 22 points. We were going in the wrong direction, but there were not a lot of improvements I had done on interiors. So I guess it should not be a surprise. Total score was 775 at the regional versus 783 at the chapter meet. Not that bad. The mechanical team actually started before the other two teams were complete, so it got very, very busy around the car. It also kept me hopping to casually observe what the judges were looking at and discussing without being a disruption to the teams. At least I did not have any downtime waiting for the judges to arrive. The chassis team was very thorough and took longer than the typical 40 minutes, but they had no other cars to go on to, so why not do a great job? The judges commented on how good the oil pan looked. I had the correct amount of missing paint on the underside. I did good. I did take a big hit in the suspension section. 
At the chapter meet, we did not have a single deduction. However, this time around, we received a total of seven deductions. The biggest came on the shocks with a four-point deduction. They were not correct, so that was a legitimate deduction. The rear spring was also noted as a reproduction, which is hard to believe on a 29,000 mile car, but you never know. When they were completed, a number of condition deductions were made, as well as some originality deductions. There was nothing that was a big deduction or anything I would not agree with, but they do add up overall. Luckily, some of our work helped offset this, but we were still behind as compared to the chapter meet. We had a total of 27 point deductions as compared to 18 at the chapter event. So the overall score for the chassis was 619 as compared to 628 at the chapter event. The mechanical team finished right behind the chassis team. They spent all their time under the hood, so it was hard to get a sense of how they were doing. No real surprises with mechanical. We did not have any deductions on the alternator, so my thoughts on the accuracy of the numbers and date code were correct. Finally, we came out with a better score with this one. We only had a five point deduction, which is awesome. Maybe they were too easy on us. Our overall score was 1,115 as compared to 1,102 at the chapter event. We are finally going in the right direction. Once the chassis team was complete, the exterior team jumped right in. The exterior was the one area that I was the most interested in how it would be judged. If you remember, we took some big deductions at the chapter event. We did do some improvements, but there was only so much we could do. The judges were looking very closely at the hood fit and other areas. What are they thinking? They were thinking very good things, since we did substantially better this time around. A two-point deduction as compared to 26. So which is correct? As I mentioned at the beginning, judging can be very subjective. My opinion is it should be somewhere in the middle. So we did awesome in the exterior section. Although one surprise we did have was the antenna ball. It was noted as a non-typical mast and ball. Again, I would have thought this was the original one to the car, but maybe it got damaged and replaced along the way. We also were dinged for three points on cleanliness at the hinge area. So overall, we had 19 deductions, giving us a score of 1,160. This was considerably better than our chapter score of 1,136. So at the end of the day, how did we end up? Surprisingly, we did squeak out a better score this time around. Our score was a 97.8 as compared to 97.6 at the chapter meet. We achieved our goal by doing better at the regional event, despite some tougher and subjective scoring. In the end, it is all about the fun of working on the car and going through the judging process. So that concludes our road to a regional. Hope you found this informative. We'll see you next time.